Kwasi is my name, and once again, I'm here to serve you a sizzling hot conversation with one of Ghana's talented young artists. The sad news is, he is one of the most publicly trolled artists in the country. First, there was issues with his wardrobe, and just when he overcame that, his talent and competence has been questioned. Critics even say he doesn't deserve his VGMA award, but he overcame it, he sailed through and that has fetched him the most enviable VGMA Artist of the Year award. Yes, I know you know who I'm talking about. Your guest is right. The rock star will join us shortly after this break. This is Talk Attainment. Don't go away. The Artist of the Year. Welcome back to the show. This is Talk Attainment, and I have here with me the rock star, Sound of Africa, all in one. Hi, hello. You're Hi, welcome Jan. to the show. I'm fine. I'm good. You look good. Thank you. You're black and all. Why is there any reason for the black? At least. Black love, black, black lives matter. Oh, but I, I heard white means victory, so I, you should be adorned. I've been wearing white. white for three days now. It's okay. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, um, before we move on, your song, I heard something really sebe. What's the concept behind it? The really sebe? Yes. Thing? Okay, so, really sebe is like an attribute to describe a very beautiful lady with a very beautiful figure mm. when you come down in Ghana. So, we, we used to say really sebe continue when we see a very figured woman walking. And her back is shaking like that. Uh, That's what we used to say with Lisa Bacon. You won't see with Lisa Bacon to me. Mentida. In your gun. Oh, so you do it according to how her. Yeah, this, this is like something so we will all it, say, it. say when we were kids. But anyway, I didn't yeah, hear it means, that. It means that. Mm. And he explains the figure of. A beautiful Ghanaian lady. No, oh, that's why there was do your walking. Yeah, when oh, she's okay. walking, do your walking, do your release ever continue. Mm. It's clear now, right? Yeah. So, how is the feeling like? I want to know. Mm -hmm. How is the feeling like from Saturday night till now? How have you been feeling about yeah. the. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, it's been a beautiful feeling since Saturday. And um, I would say I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Besides the feeling I'm feeling, besides the good I'm feeling, I would say I'm blessed. And this is a blessing to me because to be an artist of the year, at this age, I would say yeah, small accolades come my side. And I'm very grateful to God for that. And thanks to everyone that keeps supporting their community and projects. Yeah. If you had your critics staring at you in the face mm -hmm. right now, what would you tell them? I would say thank you for expressing yourself and thank you for recognizing my work. That's all. Just that? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't get to you? Not at all. I'm here. <laughs> Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Has there been any moment in time where like, you heard stuff about yourself that you totally like, broke down? No, 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 no. It hasn't been that ever since you started your career till now. Okay, first I used to feel, I mean, why are these people behaving like this? But later I got to realize that that's where we come from. No matter who you are, no matter what you achieve, no matter where, no matter how standard you are, yeah, it's going to come through, yeah. Okay, you were in the same category with um, Sako de Kinata and, um, yeah. So, do you feel, do you in any way feel it was hard work, as in like you work harder than them or how how do you I feel mean, I, advantaged I, because i worked harder than them nobody worked harder than anybody we all did our work in our various i mean our various camps but the thing is at the end of the day i would say maybe the masses out there uh, figured okay this time around is for this boy because even last year we wanted to give it to him and it didn't happen and this year yeah i mean that's what i feel the masses the masses uh, were able to command so it's because of the masses. It's, I didn't choose myself. So I won't say I work harder than them. It's because the masses chose me being the winner for this. Oh, okay. Um, last year you were tipped for it? Of course. I was nominated Artist of the Year last year. And you were confident it was going to be you? I was hopeful. 
that's a big difference between being confident about something and being hopeful. I was hoping it comes to me. Okay, so you feel that things for you never lost, as we all say. Mm. Yeah, God is good. Mm, I see. So, um, how do you, before that, who did you tip to win, if not you? Who did you tip to win the award? Like I was saying, we all did, uh, I mean, maximum work from our various camps. And I think everybody put in some efforts one way or the other. That's why we, why we are all in that category. So I think if it hadn't been me, everybody deserved it in that category. I think we all work equally hard. But who did you see as maybe a threat like or I'm something? Saying, nobody's a threat. We all work equally hard. You are not in any way. No, no, no. It's, it is not about you. You are not a threat. No, but somehow. It's, just, it's, it's a normal competition. We've worked hard. Healthy. I think if, if, no, no, no. It's a healthy one. Yes. To be precise. So yes. It's a healthy competition yes. to be precise. So there's no threat uh, um, aside to this thing. Do you feel pressurized? about mm. the award do i look pressurized no thank you don't you so look much. it thank but there's so a difference much. between looking at it and feeling it i don't it. feel it at all i'm like the way you are looking <laughs> mm. i feel like the way you are looking okay i don't feel pressurized at all okay so how do you plan on retaining the title um it's hard work that got me here i just focus on the hard work that's all and what else the hard work something different from hard work yeah it, I don't want to go and do anything different from working hard towards my goal. So. You know, Artist of the Year tag comes mm -hmm. with a lot of expectations and pressure. Yeah. Mostly the pressure already, you know, about you, what people say. So I don't know if you feel more than ever the need to do more. One, to either prove your haters wrong, people who had the wrong perception about you, prove them wrong in a way, or you try to double up your efforts to make them look like, yeah, I'm well deserving of whatever thing I had. I'm not here to prove anybody wrong, actually. Yeah. If I have to prove something to some people, I, I wouldn't I would even like to prove them wrong. I like to prove to them I deserve it. It's not about proving to them wrong. It's proving to them that, okay, he's worth 40 years. So, yeah, mm -hmm. like I was saying, the still amounts back to the hard work I was talking about. Just need to work hard. Okay. You've won the High Life Artist of the Year for three consecutive times. Do you feel, do you in any way feel you don't have a co equal when it comes to that category? No, no I do have a co equal. There are, there, are, there are people doing exploits out there. There are people dominating in High Life music out there. It's not just me. Mm. Yeah. So there are people. I, I don't feel no one is my co equal. No way. People are there. People are doing hard work. Ah. But what does that, what impression does it give you? What do you mean? With regards to winning it for three consecutive times, you should, it should make you, you know, when it's consistent. Mm -hmm. And if I'm right, it's back to back, right? Yeah. So does that in any way make you feel like, okay, I'm better, okay, my, I work harder in terms of high life, it's me, something like that. I just have you ever you. had that feeling? I've never had a feeling that I don't have a call, call. no, mm -hmm. I just said that. So I see other people are working hard as well. So yeah, we're, we're, we're both working and I believe if the time gets there and it's, it's not me, it will be somewhere else and I, I won't be bothered about it. Okay. Yeah. If you would like for any pattern or category to be modified with regards to the VGMA's category, which of them would it be? Nothing. They are doing a good job. They should do their work. You are okay with everything. And you know, people okay. It's their job. I don't know already. Me, I don't organize awards. Mm. So I don't know what goes in and what comes out. And I'm not to decide for them. They are doing a good job regardless. So, yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. It seems you're an easygoing, like, Jaiman and Car kind of person. Mm -hmm. you know? I mean, she has some moody. I'm just, I'm just, child, I'm just me. I like to focus on work and making an impact. Yeah, that's what is normally important to me. But I think that's, in a way, when it happens that way, the, you make people feel they are right about whatever thing they think about when it comes to you. So don't you think once in a while you try and address certain issues or you just want them to... The only way you make people feel they are right is when you prove to them that they are right. Yeah. So when somebody says that, okay, this is, this is about you and you have a feeling this is about you, you don't, you don't, you don't come back verbally. 
to them. Because at the end of the day, it becomes a, a verbal conversation. You guys talk about it and it goes. They have their doubts in their head and you've just expressed your answer. Then again, you guys go your way. But if you prove to them, that is what you're talking about. I don't have time to talk. I will show you that, okay, it is the hard work that got me here. That is what's important. It's not the explanation I'm coming with you. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, I, I'm not trying to get you to love me by explaining myself to you. I'm getting to probably like what I do by really liking what I do. If I want you to like my music, then I have to make sure that the music is being played in weddings, churches, in every bar, club, pub, every area. Do you get what I mean? That is how I want to prove myself to you. I don't want to become that person that's always talking too much because I want people to love me. It's not by force. Mm. Well, um, the conversation is getting interesting, but let's take a break. When we come back, we'll delve into his project, what he has in mind to do, his plans and his career, of course. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Powers and principalities. There's so much fire inside me. Tragedy struck when part of the largest hillside at the kosher rubbish dump collapsed. It's going to be fun to see how he goes about approaching this game. Welcome back from that break. This is Talk Attainment still, and I have here with me the rock star. What's the favorite part of your job? The favorite part of my job? When I'm alone. When I'm alone, when I'm trying to put the music together. Normally when I'm alone, on the piano, and I'm vibing. I get a lot of vibes, and sometimes it gets me. So that's my favorite part. That's that's, that's a personal fun. That's from personal fun to myself. Alone with yeah, your keyboard. Yeah, that's how I get to write a U G N A Z A N O N O J. Those words doesn't come by integrity. You don't think about those words. It it comes with the flow. So when I play the keyboard, I you see some words will be popping up like that. Okay, so that's like where you draw your inspiration from mm -hmm. the studio. No, no, I draw my inspiration from the life I've been through, the people around me, what I see. Oh, okay, speaking of the life you've been through, from being a Fadama boy to getting this prestigious award. What, what's your story? It's this young guy who emerged from Fadama. He was born in Atimoda. Um, came to Accra at a very young age when I was really, really little, like maybe three years or something. Mm -hmm. uh, I emerged from Fadama. Hustling small, small, followed music, chased the dream. And then moved to Hitmaker. Hit me car, Richie found me, Richie signed me. And the BAA, my first song from there, he released Angela, Angela blew me up, and I've been just coming to it. Mm. Long story short. Yeah, sure. Have you ever thought of working on a project with Kiddy and Richie, since he also is a musician, he sings and all that? Have you Richie ever thought of. Song. He yes. Won't do it. He won't do it. Charlie, he's a legend. Let's not bother the legend. Which is top music, I think it's been close to eight, maybe ten years since which is top. Yeah, it's been yeah. quite a very long time. When I say let's not bother the legend is and when when I said he's he is not gonna do it, it's because uh, maybe he had to change his mind to come back. And per the conversations I've had with Richie, he's not he's not Richie's not coming with a song right now. That's okay. why I'm saying that one, he's not gonna do it per what We've spoken, and two, he's a legend, so he wants to keep his legendary state. Okay. Uh, so let the legend be. So who is that one person you've been wanting to work with, producing? Let me put it, yearning to work with either producing, recording. Who is that one person? The person to produce my song. Or no, like you've been any, whether he produces, you sing, or he sings, just someone you want to work with in the showbiz cycles. Ghana here. Ghana International. I've worked with everyone. In Ghana here, I've worked with almost everyone. And international, Charlie, I'm going to be bad to do some. Justin Bieber, or Chris Brown, or, mm. uh, or Ed Sheeran, or maybe um, um, Stormzy. Yeah. Stormzy. Oh, OK. And Dave from UK, I like him as well. I see. So 
what do you think personally what do you think is lacking in our entertainment industry no. Like the peaceful way, we don't really love each other like that. We spend most of our time fighting each other instead of pushing each other. When you release something, people don't want to post it. No, but nobody want to post a friend. Nobody don't want to. I mean, only few people does that. Only few people would want to post a friend. And, yeah. It's not like how some people do. I don't want to mention names from, from other countries. But you see one person post everybody's artwork and the next person is going to do the same. The next person is going to do the same. The next person is going to do the same. But here, it's just one man for himself. Those top there don't wanna just just them. You get it. Mm. So yeah. And the, and the bad thing about that is, it, it moves on to the next generation. The next people that are gonna blow to that level wouldn't also want to post the the young ones coming. So yeah. So if you want to blame, you have to blame from the top. Obia But then again, that's what I'm talking about. We are, we are very peaceful, but the love there deep down. Go ask them. It's not. It's not there like that. That's all. But looking at things, since um, the artists of this generation, as in your circle, yeah. you are more together. You are more, you know, okay as compared to the ones before you. Am I wrong about that? With regards to the fight that's going on there, you're very right about that, because uh, I think what we've learned is. <laughs> I think what we've learned is if we don't make a change and it stays the way it is, it's two things. They either think we're scared to try, but maybe we are not even scared to be here. We're not scared. Okay. We can make a change. Sure. So it's just good. You, you're, you're seeing the change starting from these young crops of people. And I pray that that love that we have for each other, that Kwame UGP, they can promise, will stay there for a very long time. Okay. Um, Government has planned on building four recording studios in the country. What do you make of that? That's perfect. That's perfect because one, they have the proper means to do it. And they have the capital to put it together. So if it's going to benefit the whole country, I think that is 100% perfect. Yeah. Okay. What's your assessment of government's policies and plans? since they came to power with regards to the creative arts industry the creative arts industry yeah okay so honestly speaking when it comes to the creative arts industry my attention is not the government side i've not really paid attention to what the government is doing about creative industry and because i've been super super busy out there traveling all over the world playing shows and all that so maybe um, you can ask those close to the guy when it comes to Musica and, and Gamro and they, they will have the perfect answer for that because I'm not that close to those people in politics when it comes to the um, entertainment aspect of their job. Okay, but would you ever want to cover or create a campaign song for a particular political party if it's, it comes with money? It's, it's my job. I want to feed my family, so if somebody want me to do music for if you, want to, if, if you want me to do a birthday song and you pay me good money, it's my job, I'm going to do it. That's my job. Mm. If, if you are called to host VGM, it's going to go. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much. That same way, if I'm called to do music for even a birthday person and they, they said they're going to pay me good money, it's my job, I have to do my job. But some people think that the moment you start doing that, they start to tag you to a particular party. No, no, no. And that can mar your career. Wait. If if you sell in the market, mm. sorry, if you sell maybe tomatoes in the market, mm. and um, you are MPP, let's say, an NDC person comes to buy tomatoes, would you sell it? Of me? course. Why don't you want me to do my music? You want to do your job, but you don't want me to do my job. I think it's not cool. You people are being you're being vain with that. If you think if I do my job, I'm being political. I'm being I'm side sidelining some people you are being vain you're being greedy yeah so if you want to do your job let me do my job too and i made your own best memory that's how it looks you know that's how it looks but it doesn't it's not supposed to be like that mm. yeah. okay you wanted to embark on an, an african tour before the COVID. Yeah, yeah. does it still hold if this whole thing is over, i'm still going to put it together because you've promised some people i was doing a stadium in togo uh, it, didn't, it didn't happen, but after everything is, is calm, 
I'm sure we're gonna go back to Togo and make it happen. And some other African countries that as we promised. Okay. The Son of African Son of Africa album. Tell us about it. It's dropping on the 9th of October and it has 14 songs on it. It has a number of features. Let me mention some of the features. It has Sarkodi, it has Sotawale, it has Samini, it has Obapa Christie, it has Eddie Kenzo, it has Prince Bright, it has um, Zlatan, it has Fast the Bad Guy, it has Tali. The album mm. is loaded. So it's something Ghanaian should cross. The whole of Africa should cross fingers too because we are pushing it to the rest of the world. I'm introducing to the world how Africa looks and sounds like. Yeah. Okay. That is why I named it Son of Africa. All right, I see. So elections are approaching. And um, you know, it's, it's a moment of tension, anxiety, chaos, and all of that. What message? You know, you have a, an influence on Ghana, especially the youth. What message would you like to relate to them? What would you like to tell them? Real quick, I'll say election is very important. You should go out there and cast our votes. Yeah. But our lives are very important because if you don't have your life anymore, you can't cast your vote anymore. And Please, be mindful out there. Don't go attack a brother so you won't be attacked. Let's make this peaceful. Let's love each other. Let's vote for who we think should govern the country. God first, man will follow. Okay. Very soon, then go up in What up, it's your rock star, call me Eugene, and the show you're watching is Talk Entertainment, it's your rock star. Don't go anywhere, keep it low. Africa, still number one. Cheese! We are currently here at the Link Studios, where Kwame Eugene normally cooks all his prekese, his wele, sebe, kontomire, and all that for your hearing pleasure. He's here to give us a little freestyle, so enjoy. Uh, <laughs> Rockstar! <laughs> Number one. <laughs> we wrap up here on this edition of Talk Attainment. I come your way next time. Till then, stay safe and stay blessed. I remain your host, Elsie. It's bye for now.